And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Boom Crew Fizz. That's what I'm going to go ahead and name the deck. This was a, a donation deck where we had um, a donation to make a uh, Twisted Fate PNZ deck. There's a couple of ways to do that. Uh, this is what this is why um, I'm going with because this is the kind of deck that I really like to play. This is one that I think could be really strong. Where we're we're going with mostly all bilge water, and this is just like the twisted fizz deck that I played last Sunday. But instead of splashing Freljord, we're splashing P and Z, and P and Z gives us some really good tools. The three cards that P and Z is giving us, it gives us a, a great two drop with Boom Crew Rookie, which is like a, a perfect two drop for the deck. Um, you know, we get to attack trigger the plunder all the time with the attack step um, and then we have mystic shot a great removal spell and then we also have rummage which can be pretty important now rummage uh, we don't really necessarily have like anything in our deck that we necessarily want to rummage away but we do we can create a lot of extra cards you know, like if we're still like with black market merchant and pilfer goods if we're taking cards from our opponent and same with yordle grifter it takes cards from the opponent if we're taking stuff that um, isn't very good like things that we just don't really want to cast, we can rummage those away. Uh, maybe our Jaw Hunters makes a sea monster that's like too expensive that we're never going to cast. We could rummage that away. Yordle Grifter's Warning Shot, if we don't end up wanting that, another good card to rummage away. So we do um, have the ability to just, like we have a lot of card advantage in here. So even though rummage is technically card disadvantage, because you spend one card and discard two more, so you're spending three cards to draw two, you know, maybe that filtering could be um, pretty important. The other thing that I really like about Rummage is it is a burst speed draw two for just one mana, and that can level up our Twisted Fate. So those two, combining those two is awesome. Because uh, maybe, like, you know, we've drawn, like, four cards so far, and, um, and, like, my opponent's not expecting a leveled up Twisted Fate, but then we suddenly like pilfered goods, draw two at burst speed, and rummage, draw two more, and then our Twisted Fate's leveled up. So that could be pretty sweet. Um, so we're not really we're not really going all in on Fizz. You know, like we're just playing Fizz as a good quality one drop. Um, there is a, a version of um, PNZ plus Bilgewater uh, that goes a lot more all in on Fizz. It plays like suit up and pocket aces and things like that and like a whole bunch of warning like all three warning shots in the main deck to be zero mana cards to protect fizz i like playing this kind of value um game more but we have like good ways to end the game especially with boom crew doing that damage and mystic shot doing that damage we can end games pretty well too and our deck's just really efficient look at that 26 cards that cost one or two mana like we get to just play a really low cost deck and i like that quite a bit all right, so here we go. Let's play some Boom Crew Fizz. And that's that's basically, you know, I didn't want to call it Twisted Fizz because we had the Twisted Fizz Freljord version. So, like, what to name the, the deck? I was thinking, like, Piltover, you know, Twisted Piltover, you know, that kind of stuff. And I decided to go with Boom Crew and Fizz. Stop. Stop. Yeah, Dr. Grindle, do you have your deck code that you can... Send here in chat. I'd like to check it out. Hey, Dank, what's up? Happy Wednesday. Just keep this curve. Not a bad curve. We are facing little Sejuani Timo. <clears throat> Nothing like the great outdoors. I'll scout ahead. Who's the worst champion? Probably Shen. We might vote for the worst champion would be Shen. Let's get I think after Shen, I would probably say Braum. Let's go. 
Well, this has been ideal for them. First three turns, they got three Sejuani triggers, and they got ten Puff Caps for me. And pretty ideal. I've had a very good curve, though, too. I have a good hand and a good curve. So I can't complain. Okay, so Zed, Hecarim, and Thresh. Okay, Zed, Thresh, Hecarim. Cool. Alright, what do we have here? Elixir of Iron. It's true. Can't say no to Fizz. I don't believe Teemo decks are in the 30s for win rates. I think there was a, like, Teemo Fizz together is in the 30s. I don't think Teemo by himself is in the 30s. a really big creature from the Starlet's here. I just want to keep Thermogenic Beam for Sejuani. And with that leveling up, I, d I don't have like a great, you know, like red card for Twisted Fate. Yeah, Teemo, Teemo is one of the weaker champions, just because, yeah, it is just a 1-1. A one, one. Does a lot for a one-mana card. No, we're not, we're not too aggro. It's 
So I could cast one of these and give the Fizz elusive. I think I'm just going to attack for five, though. We're more of a mid-range deck. Yeah, we're protecting. I'm gonna be trying to have lethal next turn with my with my elusives. Yeah, like that's seven. Like this is potentially seven elusive in play right now. We play this thing; it's nine elusive. That's so like almost kills them. Then like some twisted fate red cards, or like one twisted fate red card in a parlay. Yeah, this deck does have some good aggressive elements to it, for sure, and, and a really low curve. So it can kind of play as an aggro deck. is gone. That's going to slow me down. Oh, wow. By snow and stars. Man, Elixir of Iron is so good. I'm telling y'all, Elixir of Iron. Stand and fight. There is no best deck to get out of gold. There's... Oh, Man, let's see, I just frostbite everything. Great turn for my opponent. No, there isn't the best deck, deck in general. Um, so it it all depends on like your play style and everything like that, like what what you like playing and, and everything like that, um, and you know like what what you're gonna enjoy, all that kind of stuff. Like there's Mobile Addicts has like a, a meta tier list. Gotta get the Sejuani out of here. This is looking pretty grim, though. It was looking really, really great until Sejuani. All that glitters. I refuse. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. There's the thing that had a bunch of starlets here. Counters. Um, I'm going to block everything. Would I rather block with Boom Crew Rookie or Zap Sprayfin? Gotta trust your instincts. I think my instincts are... No, we're going to go Boom Crew Rookie. Yeah, Boom Crew Rookie. First big mission. I 
haven't got too much use out of the rummage yet. Yeah, if they have another Sejuani, I just lose on the spot. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. And so, like, I don't really want to, like, rummage and just draw a bunch of cards because we have so many puff caps. Like, I really don't want to be drawing cards. And so that's, that's like, one reason, like, not to play Zap Sprayfin also is because you just don't want to draw all those cards. Necessarily aggressive, harsh winds. Like I think, if I'm them, I want to harsh winds these elusives and make it so I definitely can't win this next turn. basically have this turn to kill them, basically, which I don't really know how I'm going to do that. Yeah, they have a... No, come on. Ooh. Definitely got a, a pretty good matchup against me here. No, they had another harsh ones in hand. Ugh. This will be a good winter. So this was gonna be nine damage, put them down to one, my twisted fate's dead, I play the new twisted fate red card. And win. Better run. That's what it was gonna be. Yeah, mushrooms are really good against Twisted Fate, definitely. Blessed by snow and stars. I've always been a fun guy. This would be a good My opponent did just have a, a great, great hand. I mean, I had a very good hand, too, but it took a great hand. 
beat me. have to just not draw a puff cap two cards in a row. It's really difficult. All right, own one. Sejuani, 8 toughness, plus the Elixir of Iron to protect it. I saved that Thermogenic Beam for it, but that, that Elixir of Iron to protect it. Which was the third Elixir of Iron. They'd already played one, I had stolen one. It was the third one. Alright, Vi Lux. What's your opinion on Back Alley Barkeep as a card? I really like it. I think it's um, it's a really well-designed card, and it's really fun to play. So I'm a big fan of Back Alley Barkeep. Uh, trading Parlay. Turning Parlay into a draw a card from their deck. And deal one damage to them. And have that card cost one less. Jaw Hunters is really good. Oh, nice. He won two games today because Barkeep gave you Ledros. Awesome. That's a good hit. Alright. Risky. Go barrier. It's probably unnecessarily risky. Parlays. They didn't get the good rating, Guardian. So four out of eight for Twisted Fate. Come on. 
probably too much work to try to kill this Lux. I don't know. I could... Yeah, you know, it would cost... One... Two... I don't know. It costs a lot of cards. I guess it costs four cards. Four cards is probably too many. I don't know. Maybe that'll end up being worth it. Poker. Better than he so happy Wednesday. There's plenty of killing left. I guess I should have. I probably should have responded to that and, and done single combat and Mystic Shot on the Lux. Yeah, I probably should have responded to that. damage. Hit him. No, what are all these spells? Ugh. It's gonna make life tough. Oh, come on. That plan didn't work out. Come 
Not looking good. These rummages have, have been very poor. They've been very poor. PNZ Splash doesn't look very good in this deck. Because, yeah, the, the Boom Crew Rookie hasn't really done anything. Rummage has looked bad. Definitely feeling worse than Freljord Splash. Yeah, definitely feeling a lot worse than Freljord Splash. Freljord's, if you don't know, Freljord Splash is for Elixir of Iron. That card's amazing. Omen Hawk and a Starlet Seer. Playing against Sejuani Timo again. So I do kind of feel like I, like I do kind of wish that I would have played. Kind of wish I would have played just the all-in Timo version. So I, have, I thought this was going to be better than what these two games have been so far. Actually worked. No. There's plenty of killing there. Plenty of killing. So you know with the hunter, because the hunter hits harder. And usually like here they would be playing okay, they got a Mystic Shot. So obviously Boon Crew is better against Mystic Shot. But I'm more scared of Starlet Seer and Um Puff Cat Peddler. And so I'd like the Jaw Hunters to trade with either of those. That's normally what they would be playing right there that turn. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Yeah, give me that jump bump. They got the control part of their deck, which I'm happy with. I'd much rather be facing these spells than hmm. than the alternative. Can't be a good idea to static shock Timo. Especially like they know about the warning shot in hand. I could just play the warning shot and countered it. But I'm gonna just get their blocker out of the way. We get a lot of damage in here. And this game's over. Alright, there we go. Much better. You really saw just the brutal efficiency of having so many one and two mana cards. You know, like turn one, um, you know, we had we had a one drop. Turn two, we had two one mana cards. You know, like we had a removal spell plus a three three. Uh, you know, turn three, we had like that four one that drew us a card. And then, 
know, we had the Yordle Grifter draw two cards on turn four, and then turn five we got to triple spell and to finish the game out. Yep, so yeah, that's yep, that's definitely a thing. So yeah, if as long as part of the spell is targeting Fizz, you just counter the whole thing because it's it's a spell that targets Fizz. So yeah, that works with like Make It Rain, you know, because like Make It Rain can uh, have like one of the three targets will be Fizz. You can counter that. Maybe I take maybe I don't play Pilfer Goods against Burn. We're playing against Burn. No, it's still good. Still draw two of their cards and and it costs oh it, they're not gonna cost less I don't have the black market merchant but it's still good um let's lead off with fizz not really gonna protect fizz I'd rather try to get this dragon butcher to be a three three thank you yes yeah, so I'd rather trade fizz here than the jagged butcher because butcher can be a three three. First big mission. Won't get past me. Okay, ready. I didn't do anything. It's unfortunate they played that thing. I I do think it's worth saving as much life as possible. But obviously I'd rather have Boom Crew as a 1-4 attacking in right now than a 1-1. Playing this over the butcher because right now we do have plunder enabled. Hmm. First big mission. <laughs> you had to draw that merchant. Because young players aren't allowed to have merchant into pilfer goods. <laughs> yeah, so once I have pilfer goods, then I have to draw merchant. It just pops up. Hundred percent mandatory. Out aggroing the burn deck. We have more like one drops and everything. Hey, Zap. Hand. Can't say no to fizz. That's true. You can't say no to fizz. Let's make it deep. Uh shouldn't have played that. more burn spells. Thank you. We the burn deck now. It's five, six, seven, eight. 
Yeah, I got a lot of burn over here. Yeah, having cheap cards to steal their cheap cards is really nice. That's what our deck's filled with cheap cards. I'll try anyone So many good cards. Stare at the abyss. It'll stare Even if they have the three mana make two, you know, like the, the you know what I'm talking about, the caustic thing that makes the two O1s, I would just parlay both of the O1s and get that extra damage in that way. So I, I do kind of want to play parlay first, give this Fizz elusive. Alright, and now we have all these elusive attackers. Puts them down to three. So that's pretty safe with me having six points of burn in hand. Um, can also just play these two. But. That was really impressive with the deck, with having the cheap spells. That looked really good. a really impressive game. Boomker Rookie was great for us that game. Yeah, like Boomker Rookie was really great. So that's like the with the PNC splash that that really uh, showed off the power of the PNC splash like with uh, Boom Crew. It was not only a good blocker But then also turning on plunder for my black market merchant and eating up removal from them. Yeah, it was it was great. Cameras behind. Refresh. Okay, should be good now. Demacia. Kind of the problem with Make It Rain is that there are... Like, there's times where Make It Rain's good if they have Fleet Feather Tracker, but if they don't have Fleet Feather Tracker, then Make It Rain's not very good. Especially if they have, you know, like, uh, especially if they have bannermen, who really make make it rain and look silly. best attack. Okay, if they want to kill Fit. Like, basically, they get to kill one of these. 
One of them will be sacrificed. Don't back down. Sure wish we had eight mana. Sure wish I had the three mana banked also. Better run. Draw a whole lot of cards. Zero. Cool. Cost one. New recruit reporting in. New recruit reporting in. Something was going off in my house. It's like a. I was getting a phone call or something, but like with the dial tone, that's not really mine. Oh man, this would have been a great time for like a parlay. Something that would have just dealt like a little bit of damage. Yeah, you know, like then, because then I would have, uh, I'd be able to level up Twisted Fate by just draw two, draw two. We drew like a parlay. That would have been perfect. Make it rain. Why weren't you last turn? You would have been perfect last turn. Unfortunately, they're probably going to kill both my black market merchants, and I'm gonna, that's going to make me sad. Darn. I still get the attack in. No. <laughs> yeah, that is a great line by Twisted isn't it? Never lost a fair game or played one. That is a pretty great line. Yes. This is still gonna be tough. They did have, you know, they have six mana Scythria and I have zero mana Scythria. Alright, now we got some six mana Cithrias. Not bad. Yeah, that was a great make it rain. Opponents cheating. They're stacking cards. A long path. Making it so I can't see what they actually got. Ready, boy. We go. <laughs> yeah, Cythria with Barrier and Scout. Not big a deal. We can take a hit. Ready, boy. Nothing stands in our way. I 
So yeah, that was just a visual bug. I'll write my own story. Cythria can come hang out with Cythria. I was planning on rummaging away Cythria, but you know what? I think I'm going to play it. Ugh. Ouch. Ooh. I mean, I guess I, I just so... So three goes here, this goes here, and we go down to two. Yeah, health is a resource. Unfortunately, we have, you know, we, we're just one mana short of Yordle Grifter. This is three cards pretty good. I can see why my opponent's trying to play it. It looks pretty good. Push back to darkness. This so small, but she ain't lacking courage. So I think we got this. Yeah, they did have three attacks that last turn. It's kind of crazy. Scout attack, regular attack, rally attack. There's not a card that gives your creatures scout, right? Like, we can't give Scythria scout, can we? Was there a card that did that? I don't think there is. Okay, no, there's not a card that does that. That'd be cool. You know, like like a Sumpworks map that gives something elusive. You like give something scout. So there we go. Boom Crew Fizz finished up nice and strong with a 3-2. Went in three in a row. Um, yeah, I think I think it's strong and, and Boom Crew was good. Mystic Shot was good. Rummage was pretty meh. Kind of disappointed by rummage. Um, you know, so I'm not sure if I liked this really more than the Frel Yord version, but this this did finish games easier. And Boom Crew turning on Plunder was really good. Like that's that's definitely um, a big upside to Boom Crew rookie. No, we we just never had cards that we wanted to rummage. You know, sometimes you take things that you want to rummage, but that, that just never really happened. And we didn't have you know, like we didn't have like Twisted Fate in play with rummage, where like that's that's like a, a real strength of rummage is like when you have Twisted Fate in play and you can level up Twisted Fate a lot faster because of rummage, and that that didn't happen for us. But I like these Bilgewater decks being able to play so many one and two mana cards. I really do like that. You know, your your deck's very consistent because you are always uh, having cheap cards to play. Um, ex you know, especially with like how how we mulligan. Like it's it's just not going to happen. Like where you have like four cards that are all pretty expensive and you mulligan them all and you get all pretty expensive cards. Because if you look at like you know, Pilfered Goods still cost two, right? So we're at Jaw Hunters. You know, we are we have five cards in the deck. Five cards in the deck that cost three or more. Everything else is <laughs> one and two. Like you're you're gonna have the cheap stuff. It's not like Jaw Hunters is really expensive anyway. So I I like that. I like this curve. Basically everything's one through four, and then you just got a couple of Riptide Rex just to um just to be great. 
All right, so there we go. Boom Crew Fizz. Uh, if you like playing like this uh, Bilgewater stuff, you know, it's Bilgewater um, uh, Shell. I guess that's the word for it. The Bilgewater Shell with um, some aggressive elements of P and Z, then uh, this, this could be the deck for you. All right, but those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of uh, this version of um, of Bilgewater. Uh, but that's all I got. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.